All right, hey, what's up, team? Eddie Gray here. And today I want to talk to you about this incredible app called Endless. We've covered so much about it already. This is not the manual read through, this is not the desktop version, this is not the plug in version, but it is the iOS app version. I believe it's coming to Android soon. But as of right now, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It does require Wi-Fi access in order to get into it. Now, here is the community jam. You'll find all sorts of amazing creative individuals here, incredible genres. Uh, yesterday, I was listening to Glitch in the Machine, and these guys were going nuts in there. There's some pretty wild music. So we're not going to actually do any communal jamming. We're going to go into the My Jam section, and we're going to start something new in order to talk about how to use this incredible app. Now, the free tier gives you most of the access that you're going to need just to get yourself going, okay? But if you decide to subscribe for 50 a month, you get extra sound packs and you get to use the sampler, which is very much worth it if you really want to take advantage of this incredible instrument. So, this right here, this screen that you're looking at is an opportunity for you to invite friends, start chatting, make this a social event, and that's pretty rad. But I'm going to go ahead and go into Jam just to kind of get the party started. Now, you'll notice that there's four initial tabs. You've got the kind of sounds module here, which encompasses drums, notes, anything harmonious, melodious, bass, the sampler, which I talked about, effects, and then the microphone, which you're going to need if you want to sample yourself playing guitar, saxophone, what have you. Then we go into the sound packs themselves and all the various expansions, which sound pretty sweet. Then you go into a kind of ADSR controls with like uh, reverb sometimes built in. And so my favorite thing about Endless is that you can record um, the ADSR controllers automation while you enable the retrospective looper. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just kind of stay tuned and you'll see what I mean. And then at the very end here, we have all the settings that you're going to need in order to get yourself going. So I'm going to click on metronome and turn that on. Okay. And, um, I'm not able to hear it cause I enabled do not disturb on my phone, but let's see if we can get some sound out of this. Good, good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn that off real quick because I might actually disturb my work. And now we're here, right? All right, cool. So then let's... Uh... So you can see that I'm adding to the idea. Now, since I have a basic tempo laid out, I'm going to go to metronome and just turn that off. I don't need it anymore, right? There's no need to have it. Quantize, recommend you have it on. All right, by default, it's on 16th notes. The looper mode, there are three. The top, you can use simple, which basically, I think, stretches across two bars every single time, no matter what. I recommend you put the time to learn advanced because sometimes you need short phrases and you want them to repeat over and over again. And sometimes you just need really long phrases to play out. Punch in and out is for stuff, stuff that you want off the grid or you want to be a little bit more unorthodox. So then I'm going to go back to here. Let's press play. So because that idea lasted two bars, it will now repeat sequentially. If I just wanted it to last one bar and play every time, check this out. So you can see that that idea is now playing every single time. And let's say for whatever reason, I didn't like that idea. I click on this right arrow menu and then I click on delete riff. And then now we're back to where we were right before we recorded that. All right, great. Let's go ahead and play some bass. Um, I need something I can really hear. Good. All right.
again, I'm able to use the parameter over time and automate it. It's pretty sweet. I love it so much. Let's go ahead and add some notes here. See if we could find something that works. All right, so it's decent enough. So then now I'm gonna go into here, go into effects, add my absolute favorite zap delay. Let's go. I'm gonna add it to that specific part, which is the yellow notes. Everything at the bottom is signified. Red, drums, blue, bass. Notes mode is in yellow. So you can see there's a circle around it. That means that this is what we're going to affect, all right? And then I'm going to burn to audio or bounce to audio the effect. And just like that, you're making music with very little compromise. And uh, let's go to Key Master. This is my favorite where you really get to kind of twist things up. I'm going to take that same part and just add a stutter effect. I'm going to go ahead and sample my voice. So up to this point, we, we've used drums, notes, uh, we've used bass, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit microphone. Um, let me hear this real quick. And so one of the things I like to do is I like to have it play back and then record the playback, if that makes sense, because the microphone is still picking up the sound, right? All right, so then we'll take that and let's put some effects. Let's go to core effects and use smudge again. We're highlighting the pink, which is the microphone. Let's bring everybody else back in, go back into the mixer on the far right and just turn everybody on. so that's pretty amazing just by making a simple sound you're able to use effects on the fly absolutely love it and then let me go ahead and use sampler so in order to do that though let me create a quick chord or something um Yeah, let me do something like that. All right, good. Now, bear in mind, this is in yellow, right? So I'm going to go back into sampler, highlight the yellow at the bottom. 
you can see there's a circle now, which means that the information is being input into the sampler. And so to record it right above the yellow channel, I'm going to go ahead and hit record once, bring in the information, hit it again, and then that will create a new sample for me. All right, so then now when I use the sampler, there are various kinds of samplers. You've got straight, low, zap, right? So I'm going to go ahead and play that out. Let's try short. Don't really hear. Let's go to looped. Don't hear that one either. Here's pad. So let's see, it's working for straight. Maybe it'll work on one of these other ones. There we go. Okay, let's press play and try that out. And you can see that I'm basically taking information, whether it's through the microphone, whether it's through the instruments themselves, and I'm just resampling on the fly. Let's try bubble. Okay, let's try high. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's try that. You gotta love it, guys. This is pretty fantastic. Again, you can automate on the fly. You got various looper modes. You can change the tempo. The key is right here. You got the scale and mode of your choice. I really see only upsides to this incredible app, so I highly recommend it. Hey, I appreciate you being on the channel. As always, this channel is for you, for your growth, for you to be able to step up to a whole nother level of creativity. And this channel is brought to you by HF Music Academy, where we pride ourselves in getting individuals to monetize their music. We have people today making money, and we hope that you would check us out. As always, go ahead and smash the share and the like button. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day. Have a great week. And remember to keep your frequency high. We'll see you guys later.